Good evening. In this exercise, you are going to create a series of web pages based off of these four color schemes that you have learned about. If you've chosen to download this template, great. If you've chosen to make your own, that's great. I'm going to give you a couple pointers on this particular template before we get started. I have uh, a wrapper here that is a thousand pixels wide. So if you want to shrink that up or make it larger, that's up to you. If you take a look here in the middle, I have a div that has uh, an image center div sitting there that has a width of 500 pixels. If your image is larger than 500 pixels, you can do a couple things. Either shrink the image down or make this particular div larger. So again, that's the image center div. So if you come over here and grab that image center, you can actually change that. Uh, size. Now not all of your color schemes are going to necessarily have five different colors and if that's the case I would suggest you use uh, just two to three that you need perhaps the the middle ones. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get started just like anything else I'm going to go ahead and leverage my page properties. I prefer going to a background color of a black or a dark gray which then means I need to pop my color over to a, a white. I'm going to go ahead and click OK on that. And you can see I have this one little misfit box that's already got a, a color laid on to it, but uh, we'll change that anyway. In this case, I would want you to pick a color scheme that you're going to concentrate on here. So for this example, I'm going to use monochromatic. And just to be a little bit more dramatic, I'm going to pop that up to an H1, although I'm not sure I even have that defined. It's just going to make it much larger. That's fine. In addition to that, in preparation for this exercise, I've gone ahead and found an image. Now, of course, some images lend themselves better to this exercise than others. If you go on to Flickr and search around there, you're going to find a ton of different images that exemplify these notions. Be sure to give credit. Be sure to pay attention to whether or not the author has released uh, the image for you to use even with credit. So what I'm going to do is, again, I've already saved my image. It's uh, sitting right there. I'm going to go ahead and click on Insert Image and I'm going to go find it. Oops, wrong location. And there it is. Now I happen to know um, that this particular image is about 500 pixels wide. That's not why it shows that size of box, but that's just the way it worked out. I can always resize it. Um, just so you know, if you click on an image such as this and it's say it's way too large for your entire page, you can come down here and note that I am clicked onto the image and it tells me how wide the image is down here and how high it is. I could always override those right here and just make it, force it to be a different size. So if the image is so unwieldy, please be sure to uh, take advantage of your width and height factors over here. Now what you're going to do is you're going to put the colors that appear in this image and because this is a monochromatic, meaning one color, but it just varies in shades, I'm going to want to go perhaps left to right from dark to light. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here and I can see that this is box one and I'm going to come over to box one and it's always better to lay these in as background colors. So I'm going to select my box one. I'm going to click on my pencil. I'm going to go to background and now what I'm going to do is instead of trying to guess what that color is, I'm going to go to background image. Notice that as I move off of there I've got my little eyedropper. So I'm going to go find what appears to me be to be the darkest value, right? I can also see that it's 3E5682. That's the hexadecimal value there. I'm going to actually cheat and uh, copy that and click OK. And then what I want you to do is just, oops, that didn't work. Type in the value. This, In this case, it's pound 3E5682. And that one's done. So then you would go on to the next box, and that's box two. And you're going to uh, choose a background color somewhat lighter than what the previous box was. 
And once again, you're going to, unfortunately that little paste thing didn't work out, you're going to type in to a zero. And of course I can tell what the color is just by looking right over here on my property area. If for some reason you can't see this, try scrolling up or down. And worst case scenario, click on box two and go to the pencil and you should be able to see the color value right there. So what you need to do is then just continue all the way across and uh, pick up three more values for this color palette of this monochromatic. Save it, link it from your instructional design menu and you're done with one of them. I'm not going to sample the rest of them. I think you guys can figure this out on your own. Um, as always, if you have questions, let me know. Bye.